Thank you, Bruce. Can you imagine being out in this yeah. heat all day long? That's what people training to become community police officers did today to earn international certification. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Kanopka took the mobile newsroom to East Hartford to check out how nearly two dozen officers handled the intense heat. If you think you're hot on this scorcher of a sunny day, imagine being some of these police officers who are out here training for bike patrol. Not only do they have their vests, hats, helmets on, they've got other gear too. Make sure you're filling up with water and, and consuming it. Decked out in dark colored clothing, loading bullets, and layered up on a sizzling 90 degree day. These cops from all over Connecticut and Vermont are training as community police officers, not only firing, they're sweating bullets too. It's hot, but everyone's feeling the heat too, so you can't complain. It is what it is. From learning how to handle a gun after hopping off their mountain bikes in pursuit of a sticky situation to other tactical training techniques in the steamy sun. It's just go over like a basic contact cover. He, he turns around and runs directly opposite of where I am. It's simple. I turn around like this, and I'm I'm after him. Okay. We ride distances. We go very far. You know, today I think we're only up to seven miles, but they promise us we've got a good seven to ten left. In addition to the mercury rising, most of these officers are also equipped with their service weapons, duty belts, and bullet-resistant vests. In addition to all of their equipment they usually have in the car with them, adding to the heat. They tell us when you're on these bikes in this heat, we're burning that many more calories and we'll get fatigued. You put that 30 that 30 pounds of gear on top of a 40 pound bicycle and add the heat involved in it. It takes a, it's it takes a little bit of a uh, little bit more training to be more efficient with the bike. That's why there's plenty of water on hand and quick breaks to hydrate. Drink as much water as you can. Every time you get a break, sip some water, get back in the heat of things. At the end of this week-long training, these officers will become certified once they pass both the physical exam and a written test, too. For now, reporting with the Mobile Newsroom in Farming, Bill Kanopka, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.